Welcome to section 4.2.2. We're going to learn in this section um, how to use um, graphs and tables to find the intersection of a system of equations where they, they overlap like we talked about yesterday. And we're also going to um, look at it on a calculator in the next video. We need to go through it pretty quick, but we start with problem 476. And they give us two people. They give us LaTanya and they give us George. They tell us that LaTanya um, and George are saving up money because they both want to buy new bicycles. LaTanya opens a savings account with $50 and she just got a job and is determined to save an additional $30 a week. George started a savings account with $75 and is able to save $25 a week. So let's look at our table. What is going to be our starting point? Well, that's going to be zero weeks. And keep track of weeks. And it tells us that LaTanya started out with $50. And then her job is going to give her $30 a week. So after one week, she's going to have $30 more. So that's going to be $80. I'm just going to draw the arrow like we have before to show that we're going up by 30 here and we're going up by one here. After two weeks, She'll have 110. After three weeks, she'll have 140. After four weeks, she'll have 170. After five weeks, she'll have 200. And after six weeks, she'll have 230. Now, we hope that this will be enough. George started out with $75. And that was at week zero. And he's going up by 25. So let's see, this week he's going to have 100. This week he's going to have 125. This week he'll have 150. This week he'll have 175. This week he'll have 200. And this week he'll have 225. I'm going to mark it, he's going up by 25 each time. Now what we're looking for in this chart is where both of them have exactly the same amount of weeks and money. Okay? So I look through 0 and that doesn't 0 and 75 doesn't match up, that doesn't. That's close. And so I can see that at 5 weeks they will have both have two hundred dollars. So, at five weeks, they will both have two hundred dollars. Now, we're going to also use this just as a kind of a little practice to write the rule. Okay, the rule on this one. Remember that our rules are y equals something x something. Y equals something x something. And our growth rate is going to go here. Well, the growth rate on this, for every one I go up, I went up 30. So the growth rate is 30. The starting point is the amount when x is 0, so plus 50. Rule on this one, rate, of chain, rate is 25. That's how much I'm going up by each time. And I started with 75. Now I'm going to transfer those two rules onto a graph because they also asked us to graph to solve the solution. And so I'm going to write one of my rules right here, y equals 30x plus 50. And I'm going to write the other rule here, y equals 25x plus 75. I'm using different colors so that we can... Um, we can graph this a little easier and see which one's which. I've already put my scale on here. I know I'm going to need to go up. They're going up by 25s and 30, so I said go up by 10s on the y-axis. And I spread my scale out on my x just because I had space to do that. So let's see. The first rule The first rule says that I'm starting at 50. So I'm going to make a mark at 50 on the y-axis, and I'm going up by 30. Now watch your scale. Here, I'm going to need to go over 1, 
and in this case it's two blocks because each two blocks equals one and then I'm going to need to go up 30. Well, that's going to be three blocks because these are going up by tens. One, two, three. So to right there. There's my next one. I'm going to stair step. And that gives me a nice place to draw that line. Okay. The other one starts at 75, so let's find 75 is right here in the middle, so we're going to have to estimate a little bit. And it goes up by 25. So let's see, over 1 and up 25. 25 from 75 up 25 will take me to 100. Put another one. Over 1, up 25. Over 1, up 25. That one should be right there. Did that wrong. You want to be careful when you're graphing. Remember that graphs can sometimes be a little bit off. Now, if I look at my point of intersection, I'm going to find out that it's right about here. If I come down, once again, that's going to show me that at five weeks, and approximately $200, they will have the same amount of money. Okay, now, um, that is all we're going to put in this video. We'll put problem 79 in the next one.